Hello, you fellow troglodytes. It's your boy Dapper Nauticus today, and I, I'm, I've got my cat here, Bowie. Look, look, there he is. You see him? You see him? I can't really see because my microphone's freaking huge and it's sitting right in front of the, uh, the camera and, uh, and I know it's not showing up on the camera, but trust me, it's it's very distracting. I gotta figure out something with that. Anyways, I. Uh, Today I kind of wanted to make a video talking about Dungeon World and one of my adventures that I had in it. I had probably one of the most outrageously dumb characters I think I've ever made because he's very cookie cutter. What I mean by that is he's a very like staple like rogue or whatever you want to call him. Uh, <laughs> he's he was something. Basically, he was a former prince who lost his birthright to become king and was exiled from the kingdom by his brother and it it looks sus but my dm basically said hey we, we can tie something into this we can make this like a story thing and we can we can make it so it's like you know not exactly what you think what you think it is you know and i'm like you know what? i'm okay with that i'll play my character to that because we we kind of figured this out like halfway through the campaign but anyways uh this character that i made his name is uh Lord Felix Gallagher, uh, dashing hero, daring devil, furious fencer, and the true king and rightful heir to the throne of Arbin Rama. That was his full title. That was what I put in when I made this character. Um, and <laughs> the DM was totally okay with it. He's like, wow, that is a long name. Uh, eventually, there was a couple times I was late, and he changed the name. I actually have it pulled up right here. Um, okay, Bowie, see you. I got it pulled up right here, and oh boy, let me get some wine for this. Hang on. Nothing, nothing, nothing like a nice little glass of wine, right? You know, nice, nice little glass of wine. Whew! Just a little sip, just a little sip at a time. So the title that my DM gave me after I was late a couple times for, you know, the reason I was working. Um, he put it as the self-proclaimed Lord Felix Fifi Gallagher, dashing hero, daring devil, uh, man lesbian, woman child, furious fencer, and the incredibly fucking late king and rightful heir to the throne of Arvin Rama when he can actually be bothered to show up. And I left it because I knew I deserved it, but you know, hey, whatever, right? Whatever. Whatever. Uh, Felix is kind of a doof. Uh, he, what I mean is he's a rogue with a loud mouth and absolutely no intelligence whatsoever. He does not know how to think before he acts. He is incredibly agile. He is very acrobatic uh, as a dashing hero class character, which, by the way, is a, an actual class along with rogue. Uh, they're two separate classes. Rogues are typically more evil than anything, but... Dashing heroes, in this case, are like the good kind of rogues, and they focus more on, like, jumping. And in fact, one of their abilities that I really was drawn to and kind of made this character is that dashing heroes get a bonus on their rolls whenever they laugh in the face of danger. So I would always go, ha-ha, and I would like, add plus one to all my rolls <laughs> because this guy was <laughs> this guy was such an idiot that I made. He, uh, he actually tried to cheat death once, and... This was also, I could achieve a second class, uh, an expanded class, if you will, where he would basically become half ghost and he would be able to talk to ghosts and phantoms and touch the souls of the dead. And he gets this sick looking ghost arm. It doesn't really do anything. It's more cosmetic and I don't know, it was cool. But it played into my lore a bit and I liked that. Anyways, so Felix being the loudmouth dumb idiot has this item in his inventory. It is a lock of hair from Death's wife. The wife of Death himself doesn't use it as a bartering chip after he's been impaled by an orc. He doesn't use it. He's just sitting here in the void. He's he's sitting here in the miasma of, of darkness and just nothingness. And the first thing he thinks to do is just bitch and moan about how he, he doesn't deserve to be here. He doesn't deserve to be here. He needs to be let out. He's got he's got friends that need help. And 
Death eventually, after like four hours of listening to him just bitch and moan about things, he's like, you know what? Fine. Get out of here. The DM was mad about this because he's like, I literally gave you that item just so that you could come back to life. And I'm like, well, I'm sorry. I kind of forgot about it. And that's partially on me, but I think it actually played into the character a little bit better with him not knowing what he actually had. A little bit more on Felix himself. He's, like I said, he, he's kind of a... He's kind of got this weird, you know, hero complex sort of thing. He's he's traveling from, like, town to town. He's doing odd jobs trying to play hero. And he's very, very acrobatic. So he would always try to do these incredible feats. And you'd think I'd be able to pull them off most of the time. I pulled off maybe, like, two. There was one time we fought these two giant stone golems. And I mean ginormous. They... Basically, their hands were about four or five times the size of Felix. And Felix is about probably five, five nine, roughly. To give you a, to give you a little he's five nine and very thin. Felix, rapier in hand, decides, I'm gonna be brave. I'm gonna get these golems to punch each other. And he tells the party to stand back and he says, Ha ha watch this and he goes to roll and jump into one of the, the golem's hands and then into the other and try to bait a punch into the other one. And <laughs> the stupid dumb moron whiffs the roll entirely. I rolled the lowest I could, which was a two. It's not a critical failure, but it's a two. And to put that into perspective, I had to roll two d6s for this to happen. Because all of the rolls in uh, Dungeon World are done via 2d6s. Or via d6s in general. So I rolled a 2, which basically means I rolled two ones, And <laughs> I basically got smashed into the fucking golem and put on death's door immediately. I didn't actually die from this one. But I was just laying there crippled and broken and a shambling mess... I was basically flattened against the hand of the other one. <laughs> it was some pretty wily e. coyote shit. I successfully stuck my mount or stuck my my jump. I the problem is I stuck my jump like as in I actually stuck into his hand. <laughs> Wasn't the best. Felix also had some really great ideas uh, along with his party. We had this flesh golem that we had gotten from a swamp necromancer at one point, and this flesh golem's name was Lemmy. Lemmy was like a one-word speaking uh, idiot, basically. He, he, he did have a brain to some degree, but not, not really one that he could formulate full sentences. And he definitely had feelings, because I distinctly remember there was a point where we tried to launch him up into the air using a makeshift jetpack belt. And when I say makeshift jetpack belt, this belt had a spell cast on it that basically said, if you put this on, you will fly directly upwards until you take it off. You don't really have control over the direction you're going. You don't really know. Like, we're like, you know what? If we're going to scale this mountain with a more creative tool than rope, I want to test it out. So we put it on... We put it on Lemmy, and pretty soon in the middle of this little desert town, Lemmy just shoots up in the air with this stupid tight belt on, and he's zip zopping, zooming around, and screaming and flailing his arms. I'm pretty sure he hit a, a building at some point, and he didn't die because he's a flesh golem, obviously. He's, he's not going to just die from that. But I'm pretty sure we destroyed his arms um, just by smashing him into that house. It's not like he knew what was going on. Thankfully, I think he still loved us afterwards because, you know, he's a he's a stupid monstrosity. He, he doesn't know any better. Anyways, the point is, I made a stupid character, and I feel like I made the most of this stupid cookie-cutter character. And I wish I could do it again. My god, do I wish I could do it again. Anyways, that's all for this Dapper Vlogicus. I know this is a little bit of a short one compared to the usual, and it's kind of different than the norms. But, you know, it, it's it's been a while, so I figured I'd regale you with at least a tale of one of my stupid characters that I've made. 
I've used the word stupid a lot today, haven't I? You know what else is stupid? Being an essential worker, or what classifies an essential worker. Uh, I have to say, props to y'all. If y'all are an essential worker and y'all are still out there fighting the good fight, I appreciate it. I'm right there with you on the front lines. It's, it's hard, but we're going to get through this. And all you non-essential workers, well, enjoy your vacation. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, I'm very envious. Anyways, that's all for today. See you next time when I drink my drink.